Dear students, parents, staff, alumni, and members of the wider college family, today, 31 July 2020, we celebrate the Feast of St. Ignatius. This feast has been celebrated over 500 years. Clearly, in that time, it has been celebrated under different circumstances in various places and times. It has been celebrated in times of war. It has been celebrated in times of peace. It has been celebrated in times of famine, and it has been celebrated in times of plenty. There have been pandemics in the past five centuries, and the feast was celebrated. What inspired St. Ignatius' relationship with God could be summarized as seeking and finding God in all things. Hence our motto here at the college, as we say, we do everything for the greater glory of God, summarized as AMDG. On this feast day, we should ask perhaps this question, in what ways is the Spirit of God, Spirit of God present amongst us here and now? The legacy which St. Ignatius left with us is to see God in everything. God is in that patient taking his or her last breath. God is in the doctor, the nurse, the family member, a friend who resolutely stands at the side offering prayers, support, and encouragement. God is present in the teachers and students who are make, managing different levels of stress arising from the unfamiliar conditions we now find ourselves in. They have remained committed to the common cause of education. God is present indeed in the parents and siblings who are having to adjust to accommodate the learning processes going on at home. Our homes have become classrooms, offices, and potential isolation centers. God is in the uncrushed spirits of everyone who is consciously trying their best to keep moving. We see God present in the various people who are braving the outside, risking their health and peace of mind to keep us supplied with everything we require. God is present in all of you who are frontliners, doctors, nurses, tea operators, cleaners, pharmacists, drivers, and all those who work in busy offices. We know that in Zimbabwe, the situation may get worse at all levels, but there's no reason for us to lose hope. When things get worse, it is not an indication of God's absence. Things can only get worse for humans, but not for God. There is a tribe in Africa which has an interesting process of initiation. When a boy reaches the age of 13, the father takes the boy away, far away from the village. The journey usually takes two to three days. And when they reach a place where there's dense forest, the father would say to the boy, find somewhere to sit. Then the father gives a simple instruction. Whatever happens in the night, please don't run away. If you run away, then you'll never be worthy of a man. you always be considered as a boy. And the father will say to the boy, I'll leave you for the night and come back for you tomorrow morning. But before the father leaves, he blindfolds the boy and tells him to stay like that until morning. The boy sits there the whole night, 
listening to the howling of wolves, perhaps the roaring of lions, the crashing sounds in the bushes, the mean laughter of hyenas, and the hissing of snakes. The boy has to stay put. The next morning, the father comes back to the boy, removes the flat blindfold, and congratulates him. That is if the boy has not run away. But there's one thing the boy doesn't know. It will always remain a secret. And the secret is that the father actually never leaves the boy. He sits with his spear some 20 meters away and guards over him the whole night so that no danger befalls him. Perhaps in these difficult times, we need the faith and trust of that boy. Afraid, but strong and hopeful. Because, of God, because God is present today, as Christians, we are called forevermore to be witnesses of compassion and hope. We know we are all affected by the coronavirus. We are scared. We are anxious. We are agitated. Some of us are having nightmares of all kinds. Yes, we realize that we are mere human beings, broken. Yet, we know that as believers, we have the potential to be powerful witnesses during this time. So when you look around you, do not look for someone who will console you. Rather, look for someone you can console. When you look around you, do not look for someone to give you hope. Rather, look for someone you can give hope. And when you look around you, do not look for someone who can serve you, but rather look for someone you can save. Today, therefore, we ask St. Ignatius to intercede for us that we may all seek to do God's will in these difficult times, that we may be courageous and hopeful, that when we have found God, we may share the experiences with one another and strengthen one another during these times. And let us hear again the Lord's words when he said to us, do not be afraid. I will be with you to the end of times. Happy feast to all of you. Our family, St. George's College, Hartman House, students, parents, staff, alumni, and all those who celebrate life with us. Please keep yourself safe and others safe. Together, we'll make it. Thank you.